there is no advanced restart button hence i am using the traditional method to boot into recovery press this volume plus button and power button simultaneously in order to boot into recovery once the poco logo appear you can remove the finger on power button continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco xc go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip files and firmware first flash the firmware so surya global 12.5.5.0 firmware flash this once the firmware get flashed go to home section here and again and select install and select the rom zip file i know i want to do pixis os and also the mix version but i am doing evolution x latest speed i will cover these two also so subscribe to my channel i will be getting up to date rom videos on poco xc as you can see i am flashing this evolution x i'll get a little bit closer to show you the version it's 6.3 and with april security patch and version and at all you can see the build date here april 25 and it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button then again select home section and select reboot and select the system this is the flashing method of evolution x 6.3 on this poco x with under 12 and april security patch will be explaining in detail i mean i am explaining in detail regarding this rom everything will be explained in detail like uh, bgm gameplay battery life will the fast charger support is available what are the improvements what are the bugs features everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it's booted into evolution x rom and let's begin this video <laughs> hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you watching sampath sanfx poco xc custom rom reviews and this is evolution x version 6.3 version 2 6.3 surya snow version this is an unofficial build will be receiving very soon official build also and version and at all as i said before and april 5th 2022 latest security patch and kernel user is 4.14.190 dex k kernel has been used here and the build date is april 25th the latest build this is and selling status is m forcing and build number you can see here and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last 5 minutes and 1 seconds so you can see here the maximum is 149 average is 146 and minimum is 136 million gips and no cpu thermal throttling detected pretty good this is and really nice and let's see the geekbench scores here that's also going to be very good but not great enough you can see here the single score is just 509 and multi score is 1562 it should be around 562 and 1800 and 1900 but this is okay i will run the android benchmark at the end and i will add the screenshot here you can check out later and linux 4.14.190 dex k kernel has been used as i said before this of the benchmark results and cpu throttling test that's fine no problem and they are keep keep on changing the kernels to test but overall you will get the same performance with evolution x and in the dialer let me increase a little bit of volume here and you will get a direct video call feature now and regarding call recording we all know now the call recording feature will have this kind of announcement that's mandatory now in any roms also you will be seeing the same very soon even true call are going to implement the same method so you need to agree to those terms that call recording now now onwards that's how it is and regarding the drm info here you get level 1 certification app opening a little bit time taking it's fine level 1 certification you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom and fm radio you get pre installed here that's not the problem 
let me increase the brightness and auto brightness sensor and this quick settings toggles you can edit here you can see plenty of options are given and you can see here there is a data usage on even Wi-Fi also it's shown here I just use 3.3 gigabytes now using Wi-Fi if you switch to mobile data also it will show you how much data have been used and advanced restart button is also there that's not the problem and this is how the settings fan layout before going that let's see the safety net status it should get passed as you can see it get passed you can use all the OTT applications and payment applications like Google Pay as you can see those things are going to be working fine no need to worry that about that as you can see whatsapp is also working when all the apps you want to use you can use that you just get this kind of information here but not a problem you can use it that's not the problem once the official build is available i'll remake this video i mean with that particular rom that's how it is and you can see here for calculator some of the apps google apps are working fine and coming to camera application i always been spoken about this the enter settings let me show this about this is the camera app i'm using and now build jcam it's working fine even the wide angle is also working fine even in video also that's really good if you have any other gcam ports working fine then you can use this and uh, regarding the settings let's move here into evolver you get plenty of options regarding theming you can customize here use black theme enable this whenever you use which you want to get pitch black condition in dark mode then you need to enable this and monet engine you get this kind of customization uh, regarding status bar you get battery thing and icon logo you can see here at the left hand corner you can customize them the customizations are next level in this room as usual you get with any evolution x builds notification quick settings power menu gestures the print of customization three finger screenshot is also there buttons customization you can customize in the miscellaneous this is very important you need to enable these three options in order to get unlimited photo storage you need to enable this in order to get high fps like in bgm 90 up to 90 fps you need to enable then you need to enable this tick button i mean this toggle this then only you get 90 fps in bgm and high quality streams while watching ott application you need to enable this that's how it is and gaming mode is given game space you need to enable this some of the options you can see here i already explained these things in older builds of evolution x it's nothing the same everything is exactly the same just you need to enable this that's why i'm explaining it then only you get that option if you directly see my bgma gameplay and start commenting down below that how to enable this is it out of the rom then you don't understand anything hence watch the video completely always and that's how it is and regarding settings we get evolver that's customization and apps you get default apps from here you can choose the default apps here and here also there is a game settings just don't use that the whatever it is given in the evolver use that gaming mode and battery battery life is also fine enough as you can see 44 minutes ago you can expect six to seven or even eight hours with no normal to heavy usage you can expect depend upon your pattern of usage but the battery life is going to be better here if you keep refresh it i will come that with in a second and sound and vibration you get all the basic things you can enable the touch fabric feedback you can see here intensity also you can adjust from here and you can enable the direct sound setting you can choose the headphone type and preset from here that's how it is given and into the display you can choose the refresh it and colors keep it a little bit boosted or saturated natural and adaptive looks like washed out here but it's personal preference and refresh rate per app also you can choose here in this particular evolution x 6.3 on this poco x and lcd features this is one thing you need to keep in mind whenever you play the game and if you keep this high brightness mode to high then definitely the smartphone get really really warm maybe you can call it as a overheating also and say abc mode also keep it default what is available now right as you can see off and low make it that settings and play the bgm with 90 fps then you might not see that much warm that you need to keep in mind many people by by what they do this they increase this then they play the game then they feel the warmness too much in the 
BGM. Let's say the BGM actually how it handles. Here we go. This is the BGM. You can see the graphic settings. What I said, smooth plus 90 FPS, and you can see the real time FPS count here. It's fine enough. The kernel they are keep on changing with every version of the Evolution X ROM. This is 6.3 Snow V2 version. Maybe an official build coming soon with this particular ROM or any other new version you will be getting on my channel and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and here we go let's show the boot camp and also followed by this you will be seeing tdm also you can see the live fps count here it's around 90 now I only seen it was stable around like 70 to 19 just uh, cherish OS other than that every ROM was below 60 sometimes even this ROM as you can see now it's around 80 to 90 FPS it's very good but they are landing somewhere else that's fine I would have landed boot camp but followed them that's okay in this also a hotspot and it will make really difference if you enable the high fps rather than using the same 40 fps it will make you a lot more difference definitely you should try this 90 fps if you feel the smartphone getting warm you can try with 60 fps you can see here it's not that bad. see as you can see that is the power of 90 fps there was no lag for me and one thing is the internet connection should also be very good that's also makes difference in gameplay internet connection and the fps I'll do one thing I'll come back and show you the TDM now with TDM the same graphic settings again with smooth plus 90 FPS you can see here and live time FPS also can be seen on the left hand and loudness you can see here it's almost 70% now you can see the FPS count it's dropping little bit loudness you can see it's fine enough and the gaming mode you get like this interface game mode is active if you screen record it definitely it will get even warmer that you need to keep in mind and few people use while gaming they connect the chargers do comment down below guys how many of you use like that while playing VGMI connecting the charger let me know in the comment section below okay I'll come back that's how the VGMI gameplay it was fine enough to handle VGMI with 90 fps it will make really different and let me show you the speed test in this room i have here like 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 even with mobile data also i checked it it's working fine no problem regarding that carrier aggregation is given earpiece problem i never faced it in this particular room and earphone headphone jack is fine enough in games also i tried out it's fine to use this headphone jack I mean earphone quality is also fine enough no problem regarding that calls are also no problem I am facing here that's how it is and uh, let me show you the charging animation with 33 watt charger as you can see you can see the turbo charging 
tag there and uh, let me show the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very very quick and you will get that wobbling effect of android 12 that's also available and face unlock let me show you here as you can see it's very quick enough to unlock using the face unlock also that is the basic things implemented really good and dark theme is also fine enough let me show you it's in pitch black condition the only new thing i noticed is this one you will see the data usage here and this is the dark theme you can see here into the settings it's now pitch black condition it's really fine enough to use this smartphone and scrolling between apps day to day usage also fine enough coming to verdict it's a very good balanced rom you can try it out as a daily driver and if you have an older version of evolution x then you can flash this one don't dirty flash it flash it properly then you will not face any problems the flashing method has been explained in the starting of the video and that's all guys in this video if you like it the video give it a like and thanks for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now